Hey guys, Matt from Just Wrench It, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, my Harbor Freight hydraulic wire crimping tool uh, and kind of show you what I did to customize it um, and, and you know, kind of tell you what it's actually capable of doing. Now, one of the first things you notice when you get this unit is the sizes of the dies. Um, and I'm not going to go through those. Uh, this one here's 10. I want to say, I don't know. I don't know if that's the smallest one. I forget what I did here exactly um, with the customization. I believe I took, yeah, 14 and 12, I think. I took the set for 14 and 12. And I, I wallered them out. Uh, that's my redneck terminology here. So you'll see here, well, they're upside down. You'll see here, and then I engraved them, 3 aught and 4 aught. Um, I just used a carbide deburr tool and just kind of ground at them and ground at them and ground at them until I had, and you'll see, Oh, bumping the camera. You'll see if you look at those, uh, they're not perfect at all in no way, shape, or form. Uh, but, like the 3 aught, when you put them together, eh, it's not that hateful, right? It's, it's mostly round. The important thing is, is that it crimps the cable. And it does do that. Um, I use these obviously um, at work when I was working as an industrial technician in a, a welding factory uh, amongst other things and we had tons and tons and tons of welders uh, mostly 3 aught and 4 aught cable and so I made this as an alternative to our 3 foot long uh, wire crimpers that we had the manual type. Uh, cause you, it was really hard to get in sometimes to splice a cable or something if uh, something happened. So I wanted this compact setup. And this worked really well. Um, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Uh, the dies are compromised because I ground them down. Or, you know, you're not going to get a good crimp. I, I promise you, I tested this when I did this. Um, and just kind of stepped it. I stepped it a little bit. Got close, crimped one, looked at it, okay, you know, make some adjustments, grind out some more, whatever I had to do, and then I, uh, I got it working pretty well. Uh, the, the crimps weren't always the prettiest, right? But, I mean, they were functional. So, once it's all said and done, this is pretty much what you end up with, um, and again, I labeled them because there were other guys around uh, using this from time to time. And so I, I didn't want them to get confused. So I labeled them with a 3 op 4 op And I mean, this thing worked. And I never had uh, a crimp fail. I never had any issues with them holding up. Uh, so, I mean, I got to go and say, I think, I want to say I got this for about 30 or 40 bucks. It was on Inside Track Club. So, I mean, for the price and the functionality of it, it's really good. I don't know why anyone would be crimping something as small as like this, like the 10. Um, I don't know why you would use something like this on that. But it is capable to do the 3 op 4 op So, and I mean, I don't have any cables here at home. So, yes, unfortunately, you will have to take my word for it. But I would like you to think... That if I went through all this trouble to make these dies, that I obviously did use it, and uh, it does work. So, just uh, my two cents on the Harbor Freight wire crimping tool. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys, for the video. Thanks for watching.